good evening welcome to nifty prediction to join my whatsapp i am charging 350 rupees per month you will get one day in advance in this group uh, let's go to the market nifty ended up in the flat negative 11331.05 15.15 points in the negative 0.13% in the negative opened around 11372.25 high went around 11398.15 low went around 11300 now 2.80 let's go to my prediction review in my prediction i have given mixed uh, details because the uh, data is are shown in the positive as well as negative ratio indicating 5 is to 4 average indicating negative 0 is to 3 absolute frequency indicating negative 3 is to 3 and weightage indicating negative but i have highlighted that uh, whenever we have a difference of uh, this kind of 5 uh, is to 4 or 2 is to 3 if it is showing like that it may go in the other direction as well that is the reason market has went up a bit uh, but but it is not broken the 11400 range in our data also it has broken the key levels but somehow it is not able to go beyond that because in our data the bullish range uh, and open target level which is somewhere around 11386 but somehow it is not able to break the pre uh, positive average 11406 it has broken the average level of 11396 we have a gap consecutive that is the reason it has fall down i have mentioned that as well and uh, the frequency average which is shown around 11304 it has uh, came down towards that level and uh, the low kept somewhere around 11302 and closed uh, in the range of 11330 which is in the average level let's go to the prediction for wednesday before that i would like to point out that uh, i have mentioned in my group that uh, in the morning itself uh, i have uh, told that if uh, those levels are not breaking then it will come down uh, 11400 uh, if the market is not breaking uh, it will it has a good chance to reach 11200 to 11108 uh, which is in this uh, fundo closing day on thursday data because the data is uh, clearly showing in the negative and uh, this is the uh, Uh, Wednesday's prediction, and uh, we have uh, the ratio once again on the positive side, like what we saw on Tuesday, five is to three, but the gap of two per uh, two points, and average is one is to two, uh, and absolute frequency is on the negative two is to three. So if, uh, once again, it is came difference of one point, which means it has evenly positive range, but the weightage is what we need to solve, which is. on the downside 5.44 percent comparing with 1.22 so heavy downside is showing but still we need to watch out those key levels bullish trend level which is we are having open target 11381 so that is the open target level 11381 anything breaks 10 points above that level which means 11391 11391 then uh, it will become a uh, 91.51 so it will become open target for the bullish so we can keep it as once again 11400 range because uh, that is where we have uh, kept high today 11900 uh, 11398 level so that is the level if it is not breaking 11370 then market will fall down that is what we have and we have resistant level 2 gap uh, somewhere around 11306 so we can go for a uh, uh, keep stop loss around 11406 uh, and uh, playing safe game that is because we have a gap in that particular uh, level and other the resistant level 2 we have absolute frequency and resistant level 1 we have absolute frequency and frequency average is there as well around 40 points 11371 so it may hit 11371 mark in the morning opening after it may go up as well but the pivot level is there in the negative side around 63 point 11267 because this is the target level which i have uh, mentioned around uh, tuesday so but uh, that particular day uh, tuesday it is not broken the 11300 range so it is not able to came down but the pivot level is there on wednesday itself for that particular range so we need to Uh, watch out that level if it is breaking it may go down even further downside due to the uh, support level 1 we are having absolute frequency so it is all depends on the high as well as uh, whether it is breaking 11300 mark as, as well this 11300 mark as well so why because it has strong uh, support in that particular range uh, it has kept two days on those range around uh, low so it need to break uh, to come down towards to the pivot level 
and uh, it needs need not to break 11,400 range so these two levels you need to watch 11,003 I mean 11,403 and 11,406 so stop loss keeping that particular level and go for a short is advisable let's see how the market is going to give us on Wednesday and lower side uh, uh, we have the 11,086 as the open target level anything breaks that particular level then only market will go down with the open target otherwise market will try to recover so uh, this particular level, level it has a good chance to reach if it is breaking that pivot level and if it is breaking that uh, absolute frequency of uh, 122 points 11208 then it has a good chance to come down to up to 11 11086 it may go down even further downside to somewhere around 11870 or 950 uh, due to that uh, the selling pressure uh, may control that particular uh, day you can uh, check 21st September 2018 uh, that day the market has fallen down uh, from these uh, levels to uh, 11,850 range on in a, in a single day so like that it may happen you can check 21st uh, September 2018 uh, let's see how the market is going to give us on Wednesday thank you